You're listening to episode 42, Personal Life Intentionality. Welcome to the Ease of Hustle. I'm Lauren Cash. I'm a master certified coach, calendar queen, and multiple six figure digital business owner. I adore helping you create goals your mind never thought were an option by blending together spirituality, mindset coaching, minimalism, and psychology. If you're looking to go from procrastinating perfectionist to easeful entrepreneur, this is the podcast that is meant for you. Thanks for being here. Now let's get to the show. Hey there. Happy Monday. How's your summer going? Are you making it an amazing one? I hope so. I hope you're able to get out and doing things, being with people more than you were able to be with people last year. I just got back from a very spontaneous trip that I really felt called to go on. I thought that I couldn't do it. My mind was saying, you have a dentist appointment tomorrow you've been waiting for for a long time. You can't just cancel it. You need to do all these things. You already feel like you have too much going on again and you just shouldn't go. But I am so glad I listened to my authority and my body and just went because some things unfolded that I couldn't have even planned, things that I thought were going to be really stressful. And they ended up just happening during this trip in a very natural way. And I really would love to sink more into that and see how even more things would unfold in my life if I were able to open up more to my authority and to create more space in my life to listen to that and to, yes, have the intentional calendar, decide what I'm doing more intentionally, but also having the space to be able to go with what my inner voice is saying or my authority is saying or whatever you want to call it, your intuition, being able to have the flexibility to be able to do that. Because why else have I created my own business if I can't have the flexibility to follow what is correct for me? And as all of you are building your businesses or having your own businesses, are you leaning into what is meant for you or are you just deciding with the mind what you think you should be creating? Are you aligning your business and the flow of your business with what works for your energy, what works for your design, what works for your desires? Or are you just doing what you think everyone should be doing and creating it to be just another nine to five, something that you don't really feel like allows you to embody the life you desire? I want you to consider all of that as we dive into today's episode, because today's episode is answering a question that was recently asked to me by somebody that I work with. They were telling me that They feel like they're getting more intentional with their work life, that they've created better work hygiene for themselves with a lot of my teachings. Their emails are better. Their tech is more dialed in during their work day. They're much more focused, getting so much more done. But when they're not working, the rest of their life feels really chaotic and not so deliberate. So they were wondering, how do I bring that sense of intentionality and deliberate practice to their personal life? Now, before we go into the four things I want to invite you to consider when answering this question, I want you to tune in to, are you being too perfectionistic? Are you thinking that you need to be like a robot and have your entire life perfectly designed without this sort of space or margin for what comes up as it will because we're human? And are you placing too much perfectionistic ideals on every area of your life? Are you thinking every area of your life should be 
this perfect thing. Because I have often allowed my mind to go to this place where it really thinks that my work life will be perfectly hygienic. (laughs) I will create all the goals that I want to create. I will in my personal life, have this perfect plan for what I'm eating, how I'm moving my body, how I get my laundry and chores done. And then I sterilize my life so much that it doesn't leave room for the magic and possibilities to breathe and to have creativity, to have the spontaneity. So there's this nice balance that I want to invite you to play with. It's a dance between the spontaneity, the chaos, and the structure and the determination to create the result through that structure. There is a play between the two. We need creativity and spaciousness and spontaneity. And we also need decisions made with our minds and processes and systems that help create some more security to our minds from the flow and decrease the amount of time and energy we continue to put out on something if we're doing it over and over again. It's so much more, it's much better to conserve our energy and just have a process that we do so that we're not spending too much time and energy on something that's a repetitive thing. And also there's this room for play between the two. So as you consider all this, I want you to consider this ebb and flow, this having structure and then also having structured play almost like outside of those lines, then we can play with the creativity or even inside of the lines within the time blocks. We can mix and match time blocks. We can really tune in to what our authority is telling us for that day. And yet we have this plan that helps our minds to have made decisions and not be spinning in overwhelm and confusion. It helps us know how much is too much for the time in this 3D life. There's so many pros to using these tools that I teach you and I teach in my programs. And yet I also want to make sure you're not taking it to an extreme where it is hindering your vitality. So (laughs) consider that as you're going into intentionality in personal life. We can be so just on default mode that we don't even consider what we want our personal lives to be creating for us. And in that creation, it could be that we just want the space to let it be whatever it is, even if it is us sitting on the couch watching Netflix every night. Maybe that's what you want. Just know that you get to decide what you want that personal life to be. And I would recommend choosing that deliberately, reinvestigating how you're using your time without judgment. There's nothing wrong, inherently wrong, with watching TV and drinking a glass of wine at night. It just is a problem if it's taking things away from your life that you desire to create or not giving you the results that you desire, not creating the lifestyle you want or displacing maybe some other habit that you would rather have. That's when we then may want to look at it. So here are four things I like to consider when looking at personal life intentionality. The first thing is, when do I want completely blank, completely unstructured free time? Because free time, I consider free time, any time that I'm not working is free time, but also really all time is free time because I'm choosing when to work, right? So, but for me, I think of non-work time as free time. So then in that free time, What percentage of that free time do I want completely unstructured, completely white space, no intention for it? I'm just going to let it be there. Maybe I'll stare at the ceiling, laying on the couch. Maybe I will turn on a show. Maybe I'll read. Maybe I'll take a bath. Whatever it is, maybe I'll go for a walk, letting it be completely unstructured. 
I say pick this on purpose. Decide so that you're not in a debate with yourself all of the time about, I really should be doing groceries here. I really should be doing my laundry here. What time do you want completely unstructured free time? It has no intention. It's not meant to have an intention. You're not going to place an intention on it because it is meant to be unintentional or intentional, unintentional time, if you will. And then I also like to decide in this unstructured free time, the blank space, what tech, if any, is fair game in my unstructured free time. For me, any tech. In the unstructured free time, any tech goes, I can be on my phone, I can be watching TV, I can be on my iPad, I can be any of it. It's unstructured free time. Therefore, even tech is completely unstructured. But maybe there's other free time during free time where I want to intentionally decide that I'm not going to be on tech. Anything goes except for watching things on YouTube, except for scrolling on Instagram. Or maybe it's I can text, but I'm not going to go on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, any of the social media. I'm just going to have texts available to me and then I'm going to read or I can study this thing or read this thing. So that's kind of like semi, (laughs) semi semi-structured free time, setting some parameters. So that's the first thing. When do I want completely blank, unstructured free time? How much of that do I want to test out for this week? Then the second thing is, when do I want to be doing the following or on the following? So these are some of the things that you can be really intentional around. We started talking about it. Some of social. When do you want to be on social? Do you want to have certain time blocks that you're on social media Do you want certain time blocks where it's okay that you are on social while you're watching TV, Netflix? It really doesn't matter. When do you want to be watching TV, Netflix, YouTube, et cetera? Lately, I've been thinking about setting aside time certain nights of the week that I can turn on TV, Netflix, YouTube, et cetera at night. And then some nights being intentionally, I don't turn it on because I do notice when I do turn it on, I tend to not do my full like evening routine, which is fine some nights, but I would rather not have it be a hundred percent of the time. When do you want to do personal email? (laughs) This is something I have not decided recently, like intentionally when I'm going to be doing personal email. And I've just pretty much not been checking my personal email, which is pretty funny. But yeah, when am I going to check my personal email? That would be helpful for me to start to select when do I want to do that. Usually for me, it's Fridays or the weekends. Maybe adding one other time would be useful. But I pretty much have personal things on auto, like bills and stuff like that, auto pay. So I don't really need to check them. And also I'm just completely unsubscribed from most things <laughs> and the real real things that need to be addressed are in my work email. And I really like keeping those separate. And if you want to learn more about that, useful inbox zero mini course is your jam. Then I also like to, we're talking about all the things you want to decide about your free time. When do you want to be on your phone and what kind of tech do you want to be on? What we were talking about before, like what is fair game, what is not, and when. Or you can just not decide any, like any of it's fair game all goes. That's fine too. Just decide that on purpose that you're going to be intentional or non intentional about that. Errands. This is something that we really can bog ourselves down with. And I think we can also take a lot more time from our lives than necessary around errands. What things can you just be ordering online, maybe, if that aligns with your values? Like groceries, even, you could create better structures and strategies for groceries. You just go on X day every week, and here's the list that you always are working from. 
So it's not this really complex thing. My (laughs) registered dietitian background comes in with that. I've been really wanting to create like this binder for myself of like, here's the inventory of the kitchen. Here are the staples. Here's sort of like our regular scheduled foods that we can select from almost what we feel with our intuitive eating is most appropriate. And we can mix it up every once in a while, but like, so we can decrease decision fatigue here. How could you decrease that? What day of the week do you want to just get gas? So it's not a thing that you're always having to just like run when you're out. Maybe you could just select, you know, Saturdays on the way to the baseball game, we get gas no matter how much is in the tank. We just do that every single week, top it off so that you're never feeling like you're out of gas or anything like that. Like there's lots of things around errands and personal items like that. You can just go through in like a Saturday project and decide. So you're not always having to re-decide all these things. We talk a lot about this in one of the weeks of Cultivate Margin too. Laundry, when are you doing that? Who's doing that? What's the easiest way to do that? That it's not like this big project. Maybe you can interwork it in between other things. Cleaning, when's that happening? Are you doing it? Is somebody else doing that? How often? Any other maintenance things? Kind of just going through like what are the life things that I'm committed to or want to make sure I'm on top of and where do they fit in the weekly flow? And maybe there's even like personal admin time. This is what I've been enjoying is on Fridays, maybe once a month, I'm doing more like personal admin stuff. And that's super helpful when I have that set aside for that. So just getting honest, or maybe one Saturday a month, you set aside time to do that or whatever it is, go through, decide when you're going to do it. So it's not this thing that you're always constantly having to re-decide and it's this big ordeal, et cetera. And you know what list you're working from. So it's not, you're not forgetting things. This is what I've been doing with like my subscriptions lately is creating a system for those. So I can decide if I want to unsubscribe or if I need to push out the renewal because I have enough mud water, whatever it is. So then the third thing I want to invite you to consider, are you still with me? (laughs) Nerding out about personal life systems and processes. The third thing is, what outcomes am I desiring in my personal life? So the other things is just kind of like routine maintenance. And the first thing was just like unstructured free time, making decisions around that. But then do we have goals in your personal life outside of your work life that you want to focus on, that you want to break down from a big project into the monotonous routine habit thing every single day or week? What outcome are you desiring in your personal life? If there is one, is there one that you want to focus on right now? Or do you have like a main thing in your work life that is the main thing right now? So you're not going to really select something in your personal life to be a goal. For me right now, mine is sort of like work life related. I'm currently decreasing the hours that I work to be able to live as a projector, an embodied projector in human design more, working less, being able to have more time to rest and manage my energy and healing my adrenal fatigue. I'm balancing that, but it's really the focus on the work, decreasing the hours there, being really intentional about what I'm doing, what I'm not doing in the work life. And that will then, as a byproduct, help my personal life. I'm like not setting really specific goals around my personal life right now because that in and of itself is enough intentionality around my work, personal life crossover that that's enough. That's plenty for me right now. But maybe for you, you actually do have something that you want to have as an outcome in your personal life. Maybe there's something around moving your body that you want to increase or be intentional about. Maybe there's a personal finances intention, maybe cooking something specific or changing up how you grocery shop or do your groceries or eat your food or decrease takeout. Maybe you want to read more. Maybe you want more time with the family, not being on screens or getting outside, or you want to 
be a certain, I don't know, strength in the gym, or maybe there's a minimalist or decluttering or Marie Kondoing of your house. Maybe there's a moving thing, project, something like that. Just pick one to focus on for a season. Just one personal life thing. And maybe even in this season, you're going to decide kind of like me that like there's not really, you're not going to really focus on a personal life thing. I mean, I kind of am with like healing my body. That's a whole thing, right? But other than that, like healing my body, that's the goal. That's the main thing. And I'm just going to focus on that, getting enough sleep, drinking enough water. I could break down the drinking enough water. I haven't been doing as great of a job of that, but I could be much more intentional about for sure getting enough water and then breaking that down into the day. How many ounces around what time or what are my flow of rituals around water so that I make sure I get enough. Which leads us into (laughs) number four. What are the supportive rituals that may help these outcomes that I'm desiring or the intentionality that I desire? What would be useful in the beginning of my day, in the transitions, in the end? So for me, I've been adding lunches into my workday where I'm away from my computer. Maybe I'm sitting on the couch watching something while I eat, but I at least am now not working and eating at the same time. I'm not working through my lunch. I'm taking time away from work in order to have a lunch break, which may sound like so 101 to a lot of you, but I, for the longest time, thought lunch breaks were kind of silly. What breaks are you including in your day? Maybe that's something you want to start adding is like a walk break or what morning and evening rituals will be useful and supporting of all these other things. We don't want to just do them to do them, but how could we add them in in a way that supports all of these other things that we've been intentional about? So there you have it. Those are the four things I'd invite you to consider as you desire more personal life intentionality. Let it be an experiment. Let it be messy. Let it be fun. Play with it. Know that in different seasons, different things will change when you have kids, when you don't have kids, when you have a more intense work goal, when you have a less intense work goal, when you have had something significant in your life sort of disrupt your life and then getting back into what you desire. Let it be just like an ever unfolding fun thing to play with, but you can be intentional in your personal life. And those are some things I would invite you to start to consider if you want to be more intentional in your personal life. So I want to invite you If you want to dive deeper into using your time more intentionally to create the goals that are meant for you, I want to invite you into Cultivate Margin. We dive deep into a lot of work life, but we also talk about this personal life stuff, personal life design, work life design, having focus, being deliberate with our tech, creating goals, breaking them down, and then getting coached on all of it. It's really hard to see what beliefs and what thoughts are blocking us from creating what we desire unless we start to get coached. And Cultivate Margin is a 12-week program, but you have lifetime access. So once you join, you get dripped each week so you can learn the content and you also get to apply it using a workbook. And then you have support on the app. We have an amazing community app where you can come get coached by a team coach. You can ask your questions. You can post your application and get feedback on it. As soon as you join, you get to have access to all of that. And then we do a monthly coaching call where you can come get coached on where you're blocking yourself with your mindset from creating what you desire to create, from not having as an intentional life as you desire. And we can really coach you through this because a lot of it, yeah, it's all fine and good when we like set it up on a piece of paper, but then when we go to actually integrate it into our lives, things come up. Our minds block us with thought errors and beliefs that we didn't even know we had that maybe is not creating what we desire and we get stuck and we need help 
to not be stuck anymore and cultivate margin will help you with that. So it'll drip those 12 weeks. You'll have all that support and then you're in it for life, which is so fun. Come join our community. We love to share wins. We love to cheer each other on as we're creating the goals that we desire and being supportive of each other's intentional lives, both in work and in our personal lives. So I hope to have you join us there. Hope you have a great week. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Hey there. Thanks so much for listening. I wanted to invite you if you are ready to integrate what you're learning on this podcast and want to dive deeper, you must come check out Cultivate Margin. It's my coaching program that's a hybrid between a self-study course and a coaching program designed just for you. Join me and the community of others like you at vivere.co forward slash margin. That's V-I-V-E-R-E dot C-O slash margin, M-A-R-G-I-N. And you can get that link in the show notes as well. I can't wait to see you in there. Have an amazing day.